Well, it's another episode of Excellent Infographics. Today we have performance line chart. So we have a performance line chart. At the end of the video, we'll be having something like this, which is real time. So for my case, January, if I change to 20%, it's January is in blue color. That means it will go here below. Same applies for February. If I keep it 50, that means February is in orange to be somewhere in the middle. Bingo. So now when I put it 100 again, it goes on top. Same applies for May. If I keep it 80, somewhere here near 85, which is March. That means I put it at 65. So let us get our hands dirty using this performance light chart to create something like this. So I'll start straight by copying the data, copy, then put it somewhere here. Another sheet, I'll rename it tutorial. Tutorial. Okay, then I'll paste it somewhere here. Okay, paste. So you'll be surprised you have. 000. I'll explain later what what 00 implies actually. So let us now select our data. Okay. So upon selecting our data, we go straight to insert, then line chart with markers. This one here. That means it is used mostly when you have few data points. So I'll select. So I'll explain now. You see, all the month they have 000. That means when you when you when you want to create the line chart, actually the performance, we need to start at a start point which is zero. That's why we have January, February, March, April, May. You can go into December. They need to start at zero. So this will help us when we originate our line performance, like indicators. That means they all start at zero. Then we'll be projecting towards the percentage. So for our case right now, this zero, I can try to hide them, just like that. Then let us format now our line chart have a visual impression like the one which you have it here performance line chart so bingo let us now get our hands dirty i'll start by, by just uh removing the axis okay then legend at the bottom let us keep it somewhere left bingo like that then let us now try to put our data in a good corresponding performance line chart that means we'll select our data somewhere here then we switch row to column like that then okay see it's taking shape right now i'll make it bigger then let us start now i'll add some data labels here click data labels i'll keep them right for a better impression and you see we have zero that means all our months have started from zero 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 the column which which was there previously we have just hidden it see so zero 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 so they start from zero that's what the meaning of having such a graph of a performance line chart so i'll try to hide this zero by just first inserting illustration and drawing a certain shape I'm taking an oval shape like this one here then i'll reformat it i'll bring it here so that we can hide <laughs> don't show the client what you're doing here so we can give it some effects bevel i'll try to use this one here then i change the color shape free let us keep it lighter gray somehow yeah something like this then let us format now our data so i'll put this bold same applies for our data labels bold 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 control b actually then let us put these markers let us give them some bigger shape so i'll just format this uh format data and you can just right click here Format plot area, yeah. We start with these markers. Yeah, we click markers, marker options, built in. Okay, you can add size to 10. Bingo. Same applies this one. Size to 10. Marker marker options. Built in size to 10. Some apply to this one. Okay, yeah, markers, markers options. I'm going a bit fast because it's, it's a repetitive task. Same applies here. Like bingo there built in 10 then the last one okay marker marker options built in 10 we have it already so just like that so we can just now rename here performance performance line chart sorry for the typo yeah and uh We'll give it a bold and underline. Let us make it a bit bigger. Yeah. So we can remove this axis here by clicking here. 
you can remove like uh, anyway you can keep it but you can remove it here on chart design if you want to remove or add something uh the, the grid line i mean the grid lines vertical horizontal so you can always try to remove them if you are not interested but let us keep it that way ah sorry this the spelling here performance oh, chart title performance excuse me performance align chart okay we can try and align okay yes we have something like that so let us try so let us keep it 20 oh it's the same as this one so let us keep it here uh, 30 yeah it's working let us keep 56 bingo so this is it so thank you for watching the video i think i'm understood if there's any question please feel free to drop a comment i'll be replying it instantly thank you a lot